Hi Spartus, how are you doing? So guys, this is the reason I understand why they say, uh, what did they say? They say don't buy the block, leave the block, because some people just, some people, anyway, they know what's inside their hearts, you know, because if it never happened to me, I wouldn't have actually understood the meaning of that saying, yeah? When you become, when you do that thing that you're doing that you're good at, you become successful. You probably want to leave, yeah? Because a lot of people are just not going to be happy anymore, yeah? So it's like they saw you before when you were begging them for a little change here and there until they actually see now that you're doing well, they don't like it. That's how many, how many yards have I walked? I've already seen two line bikes, yeah? When I was doing this thing that I'm doing now, they were laughing at me. They were laughing at me. They were calling me cold girl. They were calling me all kinds of names, mad Nigerian, this, this and that. But now that things are the way they are now, some of them, they can't stand it. So what they do now is they'll be parking lime bikes. Yeah, they'll be keeping, they'll keep the lime bike for me. Some of them will keep other bits and pieces for me. Guys, I understand that saying now because as much as I like Kilburn, obviously Kilburn is a, it's an area, so many people live there and you can't, you know, you can't judge people the same and you can't tar everybody with the same brush. But my goodness, that everything that people say, the ones that have been through it before, it's all true. It's all true. Listen, you see the graffiti? I'm going to show you the graffiti where I live. When I actually moved into this place, there was no graffiti. But ever since, okay, there's another line bike for you. See another bike? Yeah. At the very height of it, at the very height of it, when I actually felt like I couldn't go out at all, there were just bikes all over the place, you know. It's like they were literally collecting these bikes to come and park, you know, to come and park them for me. Yeah, these fucking cowards, most of them, they see me all the time, but they could never ever say anything to my face. See, how many is that? I've just counted three. That's the third one. Some of them, this is the most that they feel that they can do. That's that will hurt me. Yeah, some of them, this is the most that they can do. They will come and they will go and borrow these bikes and they will come and park them around where I live. Okay, so here's the wall. Yeah. See this wall here? You see this area here? They will park all kind of stuff to come and keep here. Yeah. They will pack all kinds of things to put here. You can see the graffiti already. You can see the graffiti tag. It keeps on growing. In the beginning, there was just one little one here. But each time you come, they'll put more tags, more tags, more graffiti. You see this place here? You see? Somebody has designed this for me. This is what they do. And I say to myself, are these people actually really that jobless that they don't have anything to do? Okay, you see? You see, this is like hundreds and thousands, isn't it? You see? And then, of course, they've tagged they've tagged the wall again that tag has been there for quite a while then obviously depending on how they're feeling they add some more tags because they don't have anything else to do with their tag yeah you see this bit here the last time i passed by there was some shit actually underneath that little brick i don't know whether it's human shit or dog shit these people uh, i don't put anything past any of them so that's just that's just a little taste i mean obviously this is nothing this is nothing compared to what they did i had some very very nice shoes that i could have kept for myself but because i'm so used to giving things away to charity you know when i no longer use them i i prepared some of my things yeah i put them in the I put them in front of actually seeing as i'm walking and doing this video i'm going to show you guys the shop where i put those things i came out later on in the day afternoon this was uh this was last year somebody was standing here on the corner where this chinese place is 
and she was yeah she was burning me up because that's what they used to do sometimes they can appear from anywhere sometimes they'll be in all of these angles yeah the thing about gaslighting is they do it in such a way that you don't know it's them but anyway to key back to that story of me giving my clothes to charity i saw the boots when i came out later on that day i saw my boots here but the worst thing it was it was one of each foot you know so it was odd pairs what can you do with that yeah what can you do with that you can't do anything with that they did it on purpose because they know that obviously i can't take the shoe back and nobody else can use it you know when people are just like wicked they're wicked in a clever way you know so anyway i'm just praying to god i say god please remove me from this place so please remove me i love i love kilburn but obviously you cannot force yourself to live in an area if it's not working it is not working you know you try you try your, your best you try to you know to do your bit but if it's not working you have to move you're not gonna kill yourself are you just to live in one place anyway guys I don't like I don't like my video to be too long so for this particular clip for my spotters for the ones who say okay why did she do that post about those bikes I just wanted to give you just a little taste just a little taste of what I normally see yeah they don't even park those bikes anymore even as I'm walking and talking now doing this video it used to be like it used to be like chock a block on both sides you know because you know they definitely they just wanted me to see it they wanted me to see it anyway guys let me stop filming and talking before i bump into somebody yeah so i will see you guys on the next video okay yeah it's, it, it, the way that people behave about this thing somebody does something on social media you don't like it my own generation i even find it hard to say okay it's a whole generation because it's an individual thing somebody does something on social media you don't like it okay you cannot just carry on with your business you can't carry on with your business you have to take your tired leg to the person's house because you're an idiot yeah because you're an idiot you have to take your tired legs your tired personality your tired aura you have to take it round to the person's house because you found out where the person lives what if the person comes out of the house and slaps you or stabs you or beats you up what would you do yeah you think you're bad because you know the person's address you went to the address to go and come that is some of you eh? the way that you play with your lives the way that you play with your lives is ridiculous it's a generational thing because back in my day when this whole thing started regardless of what anybody said to you you will not go to their house yeah you wouldn't go to their house yeah unless it was the kind of beef that requires you to go and it would definitely not be for anything online most of the people from my generation they will not seek you out because of something that you said online. But times have changed now. Eh? Because when people started appearing at my house, I didn't even know initially that it was because of this whole online bullshit. And I just said to myself, wow, people really do have some front. Because when you leave in your house to go to another man's house, you don't know. You don't know what the person you're going to meet is dealing with. Hmm? You don't know what that they you don't know what they can throw at you. You don't know what they could swerve at you. You really don't know because you don't know the kind of mood that you will meet the person in that day. I have told you my own. They say that a word is enough for the wise. Some of you will never learn. Some of you are the kind of people that will end up saying oh somebody i knew or somebody or that was close to me this is what happened to them if you like keep on going to people's house to look for trouble 
Yeah? It's up to you. In other news to my spotters, if you like my content, if you like my posts, I'm done with TikTok now because me, I cannot be begging, I cannot be begging them. I cannot be begging them. Why should you be begging them? You have an account with them. You know that you have an account with them. Why can't you access the account with them? Huh? That's why they shut them down in America. Because they are so... It's like they're a bit backward in coming forward. If you know what I mean. You know? There's so much stuff that is so iffy about that platform. And for sure... Definitely, the Chinese are definitely using them to spy on people without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, all of these people they spy on us all of the time. You think they're gonna come and tell us, Oh, by the way, we've been spying on you? They're never ever gonna say it, not in a million years, even on pain of death. They will not tell it anyway, guys. It's raining on me, I need to put my hands in my pocket. I'll see you on the next video. Yeah, we make you videos all day today. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. So guys, I just I really really want you guys to get the point of what I'm here's another one. See another one? See another one? This company is so irresponsible. How many have I counted? How many have I counted? See, there's another one there. Somebody, somebody in a position of authority has to do something about this because this is just ridiculous, yeah? Even if it is not for me, this is just ridiculous. The fact that they just allow these people to just litter their bikes everywhere, yeah? I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Look at that. How many have I counted? Guys, put in the comment section how many Lime bikes you've counted so far. Please. If you want to play along. So irresponsible. You know. Every day they're saying we don't have money. We don't have money. We don't have money. Yeah. It is irresponsible. For you to allow your bikes. To just end up being. Scattered. Littered and parked. All over London. Yeah. Even if people were not using those bikes to gaslight me for the environment yeah for convenience yeah it is just so irresponsible of your company to just allow people to just rent these bikes and then just park them literally just dump them what am i even saying park people just dump them wherever they like yeah so for those of you that are in authority, it would be really, really nice if you did something about that company. Yeah? Thank you very much. Guys, here's another one. See another one? London weather is so random you never ever know a bit like the people sometimes you don't even know how they're gonna take you whether they're gonna be nice to you whether they're gonna be mean to you whether they're gonna be downright wicked to you you never ever know you never ever know oh can you just walk off <clears throat> I don't know what his I don't know what his problem is. Yeah. Don't just gaslighting pricks. When I do my video, they wanna come and gaslight in my video. Yeah, bad belly. It's alright guys, we don't even have see there's another one there. See another one here. Me, I think this is irresponsible. I just think this is really, really irresponsible. I don't know what kind of language, what kind of English 
they're gonna use to exonerate themselves i just think it's irresponsible how many line bikes have i counted so far yeah it's just it's just irresponsible yeah and i bet they're the kind of company that actually promotes themselves as being environmentally friendly you can't be that environmentally friendly if you're allowing people to just park your bikes all, all over the city besides how much money do they make they make so much money it might be a bullion van actually guys now that i'm actually thinking about it it's actually beginning to sound like a bullion van because think about it how can they as a company afford to let their product just go like that how can they actually afford to let these bikes just be cast aside anywhere think about it guys they actually have so much money they have that much money that they can actually just allow people to just discard these bikes anyhow how, how is that business working i sense something dodgy it must be a bullion van it must be a bullion van guys think about it now uh, think about it these bikes that people rent hire borrow whatever word you want to use yeah they borrow these bikes they hire these bikes via the internet to use and then it seems people just dump the bikes wherever they like so and the company doesn't seem to be that bothered about picking up all of these bikes that they have dumped so my question is now the bikes yeah that's their inventory that's their inventory that is what they actually use to make money so if people are tossing these bikes about all over the city and they're not even bothered about it and they're not even collecting them how are they making their money how are how are they managing to how are they managing to have more bikes to supply more bikes to people when they're not even picking up the ones that have been borrowed before how are they doing it how are they managing it hmm? how are they actually managing it please if somebody could help me out if somebody could actually help me out with this question how are they managing to do it yeah these are the bikes that their company provides yeah people hire them and then when they finish they just toss them anywhere they like guys are you counting with me they just toss these bikes and forest bikes they're they're they're, they're just as bad the forest bikes but this company they're the worst my my question is if they keep on tossing these bikes about all over london how are they managing to run their business how are they doing that they must be dodgy they must be dodgy how are they managing to run this business when people rent these bikes they don't bring them back well that one is actually parked properly how are they managing to keep in business how are they managing to stay in business yeah how are they doing it because these Oyibo people, they can be dodgy, yeah? They can be dodgy, but they'll be dodgy in a smart way. Not like us black people. When we learn something, we start telling, you know, all our friends and family. They, they can be very, very, they can be quiet about it. Guys, see, here's another one. Here is another one. How many have I counted? I think we should be up to 10 by now. You guys should help me in the comments section. I don't know how they're managing to run that business. I really don't. The amount of line bikes that I see in London, I don't know how they are managing to run that business. Yeah. If I have a business where I'm selling t-shirts and I, and I'm giving away my t-shirts to my friends and family to wear, how am I making my money? How? Guys. Here's another one. See another one? So guys, I want you guys to look at this. You see the way that it's parked? This is actually parked. That means that it's here to stay. This is actually parked. This is not, this is not somebody thinking, okay, so maybe they're just nearby. They'll actually come and retrieve it. This is actually parked. So this is what some people have been doing. 
So anyway, I wish you guys luck because one thing that I know for the longest time I've known this and as I get older, it's been reiterated for me. Regardless of what we do, regardless of whatever action we take, whether it's small, big, negative or positive, there's always a comeback. There is always a comeback. Always. Sometimes it's instant. Sometimes it takes longer. So whatever you do in this life, know that there's always a return, no matter what.